Take a notebook with you everywhere. Who knows when inspiration will strike? That's the advice. What can I say? Simple enough, right? Right, but it's not quite right, and let me tell you why. Because when inspiration strikes, and I mean really strikes, who the fuck is gonna sit down and write? If you can do that, fair enough, I'm psyched, but for anything worth saying, it comes not from a pen, but from 2020 hindsight. It comes from the moments between fight or flight, and it comes from here. It comes from someone near and dear being scared to death and petrified with fear after those existential fuck up moments when you're left here. When you realize that life is fucking unfair, when you feel like bursting or ending it all right there, and if you can bust out a pen and paper, push emotion aside, well, more power. I salute you. You're dead inside. More to the point, I want to embrace life for all its beautiful misery, not to capture it, to torture, to suck the life out, to force it to be with me. So if you've another minute, let me tell you my philosophy. If you want to write every moment of your life, that's fine by me, but it's only a part of a larger reality. You see, experience is energy. Let it charge you and fill you with vitality. Then, and only then, is that notebook worth shit to you. Because, my friend, you got to do what you got to do. You need to look around and be in the moment. Only then can you look back and gently hold it to warmly wrap it up in pages and give it to me in verse and stages that I can believe in and say, now, holy shit, that was outrageous. Be with the one you love and really be there. Take a look around and look really fucking hard to see what there is to see there, and not because I told you to, because it's worth a look. And I'm not gonna lie, sometimes, yeah, life is gonna suck, but that's the stuff that's behind all the best books. Don't be the cage that traps moments, screaming and kicking inside a page. Be the embrace that sets life free in a crescendo of epiphany. Do all this, but do it not for me. Do it for yourself. And I think you'll agree, it's a ride to be alive. And here's my plea. Just put down the fucking notebook and come live life with me.